Hey TJ, hey. great to have you here. So I saw your web series yesterday, phenomenal. Phoenix Run, it, it's amazing. Can you just talk to us just how you developed it and just some of the process that went in developing that web series? Yeah, sure. Uh, Phoenix Run, um, it started off, my background comes from comic books. So, um, you know, I grew up drawing and writing my own comic books. Like uh, when I was growing up, Kinko's moved into our neighborhood and it was like a 24 hour printing center that you can go to. So. Um, my middle school years and my high school years, I spent with a group of friends in Kinko's on the weekends, up all night, drawing and printing them out to take them to school the following week to sell. So um, my, my background comes from telling stories on the comic book platform. Um, but with Phoenix Run, I wanted to, you know, all these comic book movies started coming out and I was like, geez, gosh, why, why am I? They, they, they beat me to right, it. Right, right, why am I doing it? So. Instead of staying that guy, I was like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to make something. So with Phoenix Run, I wanted to bring something different to the uh, superhero genre. And that's mixing it with the whole infected and zombie genres and mixing those two together. So um, that's where that's where the idea of the concept of Phoenix Run came from. And so how many episodes do you actually have right now? Uh, we have one pilot that, we're, that we have on the Comic-Con uh, Comic circuit. Right now we are on um, a 12-stop... Now, uh, city, a uh, 12 city stop Comic Con tour where we're going across the. I mean, we're going to Toronto, New York, California, everywhere with it. So, we have one episode that we're showing on there, which is our pilot, which is uh, playing here. And then we have like two other episodes that is for a comic book. So, if you uh, buy our comic book and scan a panel in the comic book, it'll show you know those episodes. So, um, all together, we have three episodes, but one for the web series, two for the comic book, and um, we're in product production right now for a virtual reality episode. So we're going to shoot an episode in virtual reality. So talk to I me. Mean, that's really interesting yeah. concept. So talk to me just a little bit about the virtual reality and how interactive your web series actually is with your comic book, scanning it in, yeah. going onto the website. Yes. Yeah. So um, if you buy the comic book, we have um, like transparent QR codes inside of the panels of them. So you can be reading a comic book and then you'll see a QR code and then you scan it and it'll take you to an episode that's related directly with the comic book. Now we're making a virtual reality episode that's gonna bridge the comic book storyline with the episode that, the pilot episode that we're screening right now and stuff. So it's all gonna, it's gonna be like 360 storytelling. Well, I mean, it's so multifaceted. I mean, is it complicated? I mean, do you find challenges? And how did, I mean, why did, what even compelled you to do this? Um, well, I, I wanted to, like I said, my, my first platform was comic books, you know, so I just wanted to, um, what we're doing is we're world building. We're, we're building a world and um, to be able to tell stories over different, uh, different platforms makes it better for us to tell more of a story of the world. So that's kind of, you know, that kind of got things, the idea of going. When I was growing up, George Lucas was Star Wars. I mean, the, you know, you had Star Wars toys, comic books, um, blankets, uh, movies, you know, cartoons. So um, it, it's always been there. I mean, it's just about uh, world building and playing with what you build. And this is your first time at Vancouver Web Fest, is that correct? Correct. And how are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, this is, uh, you know what, I, I keep telling everyone this is not a web fest. I, don't, I haven't put a name on what this is yet, but, I mean, we have exotic animals. <laughs> I heard they have wolves last year. I mean, we, we have uh, massaging, food, I mean, Jameson parties. I mean, it's, 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 I don't know what it is. So I'm going to put my, it's, gonna, it's Vancouver something, but I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> and so if people actually want to see your web series, where can they find it? Uh, you can go to phoenixrunseries.com, and on there you can download the app. Um, our app's on, it's with iPhone and Android, so, you know, you can basically get it. So just go on uh, phoenixrunseries.com, and uh, there's a, you know, there's a slab for apps on there. You go on there and click on the app and download it. It's free, it's small, and um, on the app, uh-oh, someone's, someone's over there is excited about the app, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Awesome. There's the app. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, talk to us just a little bit about the equipment that you use because uh, I, I I heard a little bit uh, in the Q and A session yesterday, and I thought that was kind of interesting. And just the DPs that you had on set. I mean, some of the stuff that you got was just phenomenal. 
Oh yeah, I mean that the the look of Phoenix Run, uh, we've been getting a lot of praise for it, and that's just a. Uh, um, yeah, that goes. We 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 have an amazing team. Our, our DP Ryan Purcell, uh, he uses a uh, Red Dragon, um, and he always, you know, he he has these lenses. I don't know what they are, but it's like a freaking briefcase from Pulp Fiction that he opens up, and there's all these wonderful lenses. But it's it's mo it's his skill. You know, the the man's brilliant. You know, he gets scenes and you know makes it look brilliant. Um, the the color of it, we got lucky and. Um, we approached um, a color correction company, a color grading company called Light Press. And, you know, they did a lot of stuff like uh, they did the opening color for Game of Thrones for HBO and stuff like that. And we showed them our raw footage of Phoenix Run Home, and you know, they could have just said, uh, "Get out of here," but you know, <laughs> but they listened to us. They watched it and said, "Okay, you know, how can we help?" And so um, we have a good team. You know, as long as uh, everyone's happy. They see that we put out this excellent quality and stuff. Then we, you know we keep it going, keep the momentum going. But I, I have to give all the credit to the overall team that we have. Yeah. And so, well, what do you need from supporters and fans for your web series, just to help you succeed the best way you can? Uh, just right now, we just want you to spread the word. We want you to watch it, spread the word, give us input. Um, our our target audience right now is Comic Con, so we go to Comic Con and engage the, the the audience there, you know, directly and stuff. And we just want you to spread the word and let other people find out about it. And you know, that's where we're at now. Do you have a Twitter handle, Instagram, Facebook? Uh, yeah, uh, Facebook. You can go to Phoenix Run Web Series on Facebook, and on Twitter and Instagram. Um, what is it? Uh, Phoenix Run Show. I think, yeah, yeah, it's show, Phoenix Run Show on uh, Twitter and on Instagram. That's awesome. Well, you know what? I wish you the best of luck today in the Thank award you. ceremony. Thank it's you. phenomenal. I mean, it really is. You should call it like phenomenal run because it's just so impressive like just your the script the acting the post just everything about it just shots that you got were just amazing like i'm th thoroughly blown away so it's an honor to have you here and i wish you the best of luck tonight thank you i appreciate uh with the i'm usually nervous with awards but i mean like i said being at this vancouver it <laughs> i feel like i'm i'm a winner anyway it's just being here so it's, it's like disneyland <laughs> are you gonna come back next year oh yeah i'll be back yeah. Well, you know, I'll be, I'll be back with my uh, my partner Rick Walters. He's supposed to be here with me, and um, he's not. He's taking care of some business in New York right now. But me and him would definitely be back. I wish he was here. He gets a lot of credit for, uh, you know, he's co-director with me and stuff. So he gets a a huge amount of credit for um, the success of this show. So I just want to give Rick a shout out, and we'll both be here next year. Okay. Well, really, you have such a bright future ahead of you, and I just look forward to more episodes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. right on. Well, thanks for being here. Right on. Right on, brother. Yeah. <laughs>